hello hello good afternoon this is margaret mungi here it's a beautiful afternoon and we are i'm taking uh, some shots here at diani as you can see this is the effect or the impact of heavy waves when they hit on the, the ocean beds when they hit on buildings when they hit on the corals and when they hit on the buildings near this place this is what happens it has caused erosion uh, as time has gone by as you can see on this photo this is uh, this is something it's like a gary you see this tree up here its roots uh, have been have been eaten away by the gushing waters and although it's, it's a strong tree which has spread all over if it was depending on one root it would have dried by now but as you can see as the bible says in the book of psalm chapter 1 and verse 1 that blessed is the man if i had my bible i would read it uh, i would read what the verse says because this is a very good example of that verse that yeah as i was showing you this is this is the corals which have been eaten away the trees the shrubs they have been eaten away by the effect of uh, heavy waves which comes from the sea from the ocean back and forth this is what has happened and this is what the holy bible the word of god says in the book of psalm chapter one and i'm going to read in reference to what is happening here referring to what you can see here uh, i will use this tree as an example of what i'll be reading my reading this afternoon and this is what the holy bible says uh, psalm chapter one blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly nor stands in the paths of sinners nor sit in the seat of the scornful verse two but his delight is in the law of the Lord, and in his law he meditates day and night. He shall be like a tree. We have a tree there, as you can see it. He shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of waters that bring forth, forth its fruit in seasons, whose leaves also shall not wither, and whatever he does shall prosper. The ungodly are not so, but they are like the chaff which the wind, wind drives away. Therefore, the ungodly shall not stand in the judgment, nor the sinner in the congregation of the righteous. For the Lord knows the ways of the righteous, but the ways of the ungodly shall perish. This is a very good example of what we have just read in the book of Psalm chapter 1 and verse 1 to verse 6 that blessed is the man who walks uh, uh, this is a very uh, powerful word of god that blessed is the man who walks not in the counsel of the ungodly but nor stand in the paths of sinners nor sit in the seat of scornful but his delight is in, in the law of the lord and in his law he meditates day and night and this man shall be like a tree planted by the river side or by the water side by the river side uh, we have uh, all manner of bible translations and this man he shall bear fruit fruits in seasons and out of season the, this man is a man who walks in, in righteousness he he doesn't uh, walk with the ungodly, with the scornful, with those who go mocking other people, mocking things, mocking God. But his, his ways are righteous. His ways are blameless. And he shall be like this tree which has been planted by the riverside that bears fruits in seasons and out of seasons. When a man is righteous and his ways are righteous, he is, he is blessed of God. 
the God, uh, the, his God or the God of salvation, the one who knows all of us by our names, will never let such a person down. He will always be with him. Whatever he does shall prosper. When he is undergoing situation, tough situations, uh, God will be there to stand uh, uh, with him. God will be there to come through for him and to, uh, to enable that man to withstand all those storms and to come out uh, shining, to come out with uh, green leaves, as this tree which our God is referring to. He will be a man who doesn't, you cannot find him uh, uh, sitting with people who are scornful, who are joking, dirty jokes, vulgar language, uh, insulting others and doing things which doesn't please God. So this man is a man uh, who has the fear of God grounded in his heart. Everything he does, he has to consult God. The same Bible warns us or tell us about uh, uh, how, how God sees things when we go joking around, we go scorning, uh, becoming scornful uh, regarding others, other people's lives when we are not righteous in our talks. The same God also talks about that. And those people had a conversation. They were talking amongst themselves. God was listening to their conversation. He commanded their names to be written in the book of remembrance. The Bible also talks of that the, those people who uh, like uh, uh, mocking others, like go walking in ungodly, ungodly ways, um, in unrighteous ways, the same Bible says that we shall be held accountable of each and every vain word that comes out of our mouth. So when you are scornful, you are talking things which are, no, which are not godly, you go insulting people, telling lies about others, you go stealing when you are asked, you say you are not the one, you do things which uh, displease others or which makes other people to cry, you go hurting other people. When your judgment comes, you be like that chaff that which is thrown away by the wind. Here at the ocean, you can see we can, we oh, today the ocean is a bit clear, but I can be able to zoom to some of the chaff, waste the leaves which have been thrown, or, or which have been washed offshore by the mighty waters which are in the ocean. These are the chaff God is talking about. You see them? Here they are. These are chaffs. They have been washed away. They are useless. They cannot be used for anything. If there was a farmer nearby, he could gather them, sweep them, uh, create a heap out of them, and then uh, burn them so that they just die and they just, they just burn and disappear. This is what God is saying. So today, our encouragement today, let us not be like the scornful people, those who walk, walk in unrighteous way, who don't fear or reveal God in their, in their hearts, in their lives, because a time is coming when they will be thrown away uh, by the wind and they will, be, they will be no more. They will have been destroyed. And the word of God tells us that those are a farmer who went planting uh, crops. But at night a thief came and planted uh, wheat amongst the, the plants he had planted. And when the servants came to the master, they were asking, now, do we go uprooting the weed or what do we do? Because they were got, getting concerned about the crops which were going to be, uh, maybe, uh, to be competing for no, no, uh, nourishment, to be competing for nutrients, for water, together with weed which, which is useless, which can't be used for, for, for anything. And then, the servant told them, Don't, uh, worry not, let them grow together because a time is coming. And this time when it comes, which is not very far from now, when they have, all of them have grown and matured, we are going to harvest them. We shall separate. During harvest, this is what will happen. We are going to separate the good plants. They will be put on one side. The chaffs, the weeds will be put on another side. 
the the crops, the fruits will be gathered and put in a garden, in a garden, in a garden or in a storehouse. But now the chaff will be gathered together and it will be burnt, and that will be the end of it. So my our wake up to uh, call today is that let purpose to be righteous people. Let purpose to walk in godly ways. Let us purpose to be those people God is counting upon, those who are walking in his ways, those who are doing what is right. Because when he comes, he will reward you. And even during the time when you are, you are, you are growing up, you are going through about the business of your day, he has promised to, to nourish you, to make you healthy, that you will never dry up, and you will be able to bear fruits in seasons and out of seasons. God bless you. This is Margaret Mwangi. The, I will have been your host for this channel, Travel and Discovery TV channel, and from me and those who are my crew, I want to thank all of you. Thank you, uh, thank you for the for your time. Thank you for being together with us, for watching us, and I wish you a blessed evening. God bless you, and from me, it's bye bye.